ethical banks in Australia. Do they even exist? Well, today we've got an ultimate guide to run you through all things that you need to know about ethical banks in Australia. In this guide, we're gonna take you through how to help save the planet through your banking habits. Yeah, it's possible. The best banks for the environment and lots more. All right, Nathan, let's dive right in. So the Australian definition of ethical banking includes banks that doesn't invest in stuff like tobacco, mining, deforestation, gambling, and all that sort of stuff. For example, on Bank Australia, a pretty well-known ethical bank, they'll, they actually say on there, they don't invest in live exports of animals, gambling, tobacco, and specific industries. So first up, choosing your bank can actually help save the planet. Unfortunately, a lot of Australia's banks are still heavily investing in coals and other fossil fuels. We'll include a link below, but according to market forces, some of the major banks are huge contributors to this, including ANZ, who have invested over $31 billion in fossil fuels since 2008, and Commonwealth Bank, who's invested $26 billion to fossil fuels since 2008. There's a whole report there. I'm not gonna go through the individual banks. The fact is they're still investing today in these fuels that just aren't really helping. So fortunately, there are still plenty of banks that aren't investing in fossil fuels. These generally are the smaller lenders. So Nathan, take us through a list of those. That's right, Jaden. You've got Bendigo Bank, Teachers Mutual, Credit Union Australia, Suncorp Bank, to name a few of the lenders that aren't focused in fossil fuel. Now the interesting thing here is Suncorp Bank actually had a billion dollars invested in fossil fuels, but recently have withdrawn from this, which puts them in the green from an ethical standpoint. Yeah, and there are some blurred lines around this because there's some smaller banks like Bankwest, Bank of South Australia, even St. George that are subsidiaries that aren't actually directly investing in fossil fuels, but their parent companies like Westpac and Commonwealth Bank are still investing in these companies. So you probably have to make a judgment call on that yourself. And don't forget about Rams and Eubank. They're both owned by Westpac and NAB, who are also invested in fossil fuels. All right, Nathan, so that's how the banks are investing their money, but how can I actually make a difference myself with my everyday banking? Well, it's pretty simple. I think the quick and easy win here is signing up for e-statements. So rather than getting your statements in snail mail, you can change your statements to e-statements. They're all online. You get the same information, but you save paper. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you've liked today's video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.